them in a day in May. Unobtainium. <laughs> I look like a Smurf. <laughs> or like Nebula. Nope, I look like a failed Navi. I need ears. I need ears. <clears throat> Unobtainium. <laughs> I feel like this is, is this racist? I feel like this is bad. All right, get it together. Unobtainium in the movie Avatar. Uh, it's a mineral that is necessary for life on Earth, but because of its scarcity, humans needed to mine unobtainium from the moon Pandora, but they couldn't actually survive on Pandora themselves, so they used avatars. Spoiler alerts, that's the plot of Avatar. <laughs> Unobtainium is a super cool mythical element because it has this magnetic field that causes it to levitate and float in these islands called Thundering Rocks by the Navi or Hallelujah Mountains by the humans. Kind of lame humans. Um, unobtainium is a superconductor and in addition to providing for Earth's energy needs in the 22nd century, it also enables interstellar travel, which is something that humans always want to expand on. <laughs> but unfortunately for the Navi who live on Pandora, um, all the mining is a little bit intrusive and rightfully so, especially because they hold thundering rocks to be sacred. Unobtainium, it didn't originate with the movie Avatar, although the spelling did. Unobtainium spelled unobtainium actually started in the real science community a long time ago and was derived from, you might have guessed it, an unobtainable element, uh, some material that is hypothetical or impossible or really, really rare and expensive. And this term originated with aerospace engineers in the 1950s, uh, which I think is pretty awesome, especially because it's something that these guys obviously had a sense of humor about, but then it landed in the dictionary. It became a real thing. I wonder if they had the same excitement that kids have when they find the word ain't in the dictionary. Like when I was younger, my family used to say, ain't ain't a word cause it ain't in the dictionary. But as a kid, I looked it up and ain't was in the dictionary. So I was pretty excited about that, but I'm not gonna be like, take that parents, because now there's words like YOLO in the dictionary. And honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about that. But I digress. <laughs> Thank you for watching this very special episode of Element a Day in May, where I am blue. Uh, tonight was the last element of Mythical Elements Week. Uh, tomorrow starts off Star Stuff Week. We're getting back to real life elements on our very own periodic table. So if you weren't into the fake elements this week, you're weird, but touche, tomorrow we begin again. All through May, 11 days to go. <laughs> then I don't have to do this until next year. <laughs> I'm blue. Ah. Element a day in May.